welcome to another travel edition of Great Health, About Unhappiness and Outrageous Love. This is room 501 at the Capo La Gala. Capo La Gala. And we are um, in a town called, I believe it's pronounced Equense? Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. Equense. Um, past Positano and then past Sorrento. And then there's this secret place that I think a lot of locals that have discovered that Positano, although so cute and so beautiful, and I wouldn't hesitate to tell people to go there, but it's become really popular and it's really busy. So if you are not up for the hustle and bustle and you do want a little bit of a break, but you want that same quaint Italian place, this is, this is it. Yeah, this um, is great. This is incredible. This is a Mr. and Mrs. Smith boutique hotel. It is a pets welcome hotel, which is fantastic for us and Sugar Baby. Um, Sugar Baby, by the way, is now 16 and a half. For those of you who don't know, she's 100% blind and she travels everywhere with us. Um, but anyway, this is super cute. The entire uh, hotel is sort of emulates a boat um, with the nautical uh, blue and white and there's a lot of wood um, the windows are fantastic yeah I'm gonna do a quick oh my uh, scan outside just so you can see the views here this is what this is all about obviously there's the beach down there they got a little beach club it's absolutely gorgeous swam there yesterday people are swimming down there in the ocean very salty water so you float real easily uh, they have a pool uh, down there below this tree here so, um, for those of you that don't like to be in the ocean, uh, they have a pool. We've got options. This is, I believe, probably their most basic room. It's a just a king bed with a sea view. Um, but I just want to point out the storage, which is kind of different in Europe. You rarely find this much space. It's um, nice. Right? It's really, really nice. Um, not that we even bother to unpack uh, because we're not here that long. But there's more storage here, um, and then they do have a safe and lots of drawers. And while you're in Europe, they recommend, you know, if you've got your passports, etc., keep them in a the safe. Um, take a picture so that you always have the information with you, but then keep your physical passports in the safe um, just in case something goes awry, which for us so far, everything has been amazing. Uh, they also have a mini bar here, super cute again in the same theme. And inside the mini bar, um, I love this because there aren't many places where you go, and there's lemon cello uh, little uh, alcohol bottles. And I sort of thought everything was fairly reasonable. Um, you know, the nuts, etc., are around nine, nine to eleven dollars. That's not that crazy. Um, no, not that for, crazy. A luxury hotel. All the pricing here, this is uh, better than, uh, obviously we came over from Amalfi. Uh, the ho last hotel we were at was um, very expensive. Very expensive and we found everything in Amalfi. Well, I shouldn't say that because we ate that dinner that was fantastic. Oh no, I'm talking specifically about the hotel. Because in, yes. in Amalfi, the, everything was very inexpensive, the dinners. Right. For... We were probably at one of the nicest, if not the nicest, it's one of the top hotels in the world. Um, which was the Santa Catalina. Well, they had a Michelin restaurant, which they do here too, by yes. the way. So they have a Michelin restaurant here as well, and you'll pay about half the price um, that you'll pay in, at, in Amalfi at Santa Catarina. Still not inexpensive. Um, you know, a basic standard room here goes for, I think, six or seven hundred dollars, whereas at Santa Catarina, it was twelve or thirteen hundred for the most basic room. And I'm talking about peak season. Um, so off season, you can come to these places and really get a bargain. And I, I would definitely come back off season next time. We came to Italy for a wedding, so our entire trip was based around that timing. Um, and I'm excited we're going into September because the weather's feeling still beautiful and warm, but there's a nice breeze coming in. Let's talk about the bed because I know that we always talk about that. This is the same bed that we've had in Italy. 
um, in every single one of our places, whether it was a Messeria or a luxury hotel. And again, I have been really great with it. It's super firm. Jeffrey likes a little bit more of a cloud, which I'm not disagreeing. That's wonderful too. But since we eat so late here and we drink wine very late, by the time our heads hit the pillows, I'm so exhausted. It doesn't really matter too much about the bed. I'm much more interested in the pillows. Again, a really squishy, delicious pillow. I loved it. The sheets were lovely. I'd say my only complaint on the bed uh, is there's only just this sheet, a single sheet. And we did find this morning there's a comforter <laughs> in the closet. And because we've got the air conditioning going, it got chilly, right? Yeah, yeah. And for me, I like the weight. Um, of it. So I actually took the bath robes, which I'll show you, and threw that on top of me because I have to have the extra weight. But as you can see, the clean lines in the room are just really, really fresh. We haven't seen any carpet on any floors since we've been here. Right. All tile. Yeah. All tile or um, I, I think every place has either been tile or wood. Right. 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 Um, thankfully. Uh, because before you go to cleanliness, let's let's just do a quick uh, scan of the bathroom here. Yes, so I'm going to go in and just do a scan. Everyone, we spent the night. Yeah, we did spend the night here. So the uh, shower, really cool tile, and nice view of the ocean while you're showering. Um, one sink, as Karen always says, you know, here the one sink in uh, at least Italy and Europe is fairly common. Uh, bidet and toilet. Um, I really do like this blue tile in here. It's really cool. I love the blue and white tile. It's super fresh. And as you can see, again, a beautiful, beautiful robe. Not as nice as the fret robe that we had at Santa Catarina with the hood, but I'm putting this right up there. Um, you know, I gave that robe at, on a one to five, a 20. Um, so I'm going to give this one an 11. It was just, <laughs> it was fantastic. I loved it. Um, as far as cleanliness, as Jeffrey said, um, on a one to five, it was really pretty immaculate. I'm going to just ding it a little. I'm giving it a 4.8. And again, you'll know when I rate something on cleanliness that, um, you know, I've really looked over top to bottom. We did check under the bed because there's a bed skirt immaculate under there. But what I did notice is that the um, surface tops had not been dusted. Uh, previous to us checking into the Oh room. my God. Just want to say, <laughs> outside of that, everything was immaculate. The shower, the bathroom, everything seems super, super clean. One thing I've noticed here in all of Italy, they have beautiful fresh white walls. They don't have any marks on them from suitcases or scuff marks like you'll see in the States. I don't know if they come in and they clean everything like that right after. I'm not really sure. But, um, as far as noise uh, goes, this room is literally, they have two buildings. This is in the main building, and it's literally the first room down the hall off the lobby. I heard nothing last night. And I think it's because we do have that window and what you do here is the ocean, which is pretty darn magical. So as far as that goes, I'm getting that a five. As far as location, this is a secret hidden gem. I'm giving the location a five. Yeah, that's and, great. Oh my gosh. And they have, a, not, they, they have a shuttle service that will take you right into the cute little town, thank right? Thank you, Jeffrey. They yeah. do. They have a shuttle service that will take you into the town. There's a lot of super cute mom and pa restaurants um, there. And um, I'd like to say this is a secret hidden gem, but it's sold out. So words out about it. And I think a lot of people, you know, Positano is sort of the the gem of, of the Amalfi Coast. Um, so everybody's going there and it's gotten so, so overcrowded. Not only are the hotels hard to get to, in fact, we had, th we're this close to booking a hotel there, but due to the parking situation, and we do have a car for our duration here, um, you have to park the car in one area and then walk with suitcases and upstairs, probably for you know at least a mile or so which would have been absolutely yeah. fine. But yesterday it was raining a little bit and we just decided it was so crowded. Yeah. So we said, let's just take a drive. We found this place. We had not pre-booked this. We walked in and asked if they had availability and they had one room last night and then another room tonight, which is why we're switching rooms. But outside of that, they are at capacity. So secrets out, 
Well, what did she tell us? They only have 22 rooms? I'm not really sure. I think there's that sounds only about right. 22 rooms in this entire hotel. It's a beautiful Mr. and Mrs. Smith boutique hotel. Um, I'm going to rate this staff a 10 out of 5 because they were amazing. Again, we walked in off the street. Jeffrey and I drove down, and before we even parked the car, um, Anna ran out to greet us, and somebody else ran out to greet us and asked if we were checking in, and we said, well, we're not sure because we had no reservation. And Anna says, of course, of course, let me show you the, the room that's available. And um, they didn't even let us park our car. They took the keys and parked the car for us, and then they, they ran to grab the bags. I mean, the service, this is a five-star hotel, and again, as Jeffrey mentioned, they have a Michelin um, restaurant. Star, star restaurant as well. So, uh, Capa, Cap, Capo La Gala Hotel. Yep. Put it on your bucket list when you come here. And I'm not saying to skip Positano or Sorrento. Hit both of those as well, but don't miss this gem. Yeah, I'm gonna take one more scan outside because we're gonna hit this ocean. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, Jeffrey, I wanted to be forgot about the coffee. Um, they do have coffee in the room. We didn't use it because it's sort of an instant type coffee. But I also want to say that the breakfast, which we found in every place so far, is included in the price of the room, and it was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I had the fresh tomatoes with um, balsamic vinegar and um, olives. The Castelloverno olives, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, are grown right here in trees on this property. I'm just, they're so creamy, they melt in your mouth. Yeah, for all, for all those bre breakfast people, because we're vegan and we're yes. eating things like that, the fruits right. were incredible, but it, they had fantastic omelets, waffles. I mean, they, you know, there was a carving station, I think, for some type of uh, Italian meat that so, obviously we don't eat, but it was fantastic. It was beautiful. Yes. Yeah. I think anything your heart's desire was at that buffet, and it was beautiful. And you know what? We'll take a picture tomorrow and put that picture up with this as well, because we do have one more yeah. night here. So the, co so the coffee slash coffee. breakfast is obviously a five out of five, but as I was gonna close out here, that's the view you get when you're sitting out here and breakfast because it's down below here. You're just looking out this beautiful, beautiful view. And stay tuned for our review on the next room, which is a grade up. It's got a balcony and it's really, really beautiful. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from Quince, Italy. I think that's correct. I think so. It's a beautiful property. I love these rocks out in the water. It's a great little swimming beach. And let's walk over uh, this way so we can show them the uh, the pool. But these walkways are great, aren't I would, they? That's what I was going to point out. These stone walkways are beyond beautiful. And the plantings with coming out of the walls again, like we saw in Amalfi. Yeah, no, I, lo I love that. The stone walls have vegetation growing out of them everywhere. A little, like, look at this. Nice little um, it's tiles. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. And all along the walkway, they have planters that somebody tends to. These actually look like herbs. I think this is rosemary. It is. Yeah. Oh my, or is it herbs. lavender? Wow. This is fresh lavender. Oh my God. And look that, at the uh, little village over there. We're going to head over there, do some shopping this morning. The sun is I, coming up. Look over. along here, how lush this is. And they've got hand painted tiles throughout the property. Really, it's a gorgeous property. It is. Jeffrey, just go ahead and scan both sides because it's right. just it's beyond outstanding. I'm just going to go over here so they can see the pool. you were saying in the United States, you don't see this much garden feel. No, right. right. Well, there's like every t every space there's a garden. And uh, my comment was, um, you know, it's hard to find a place to take sugar to go out to go to the bathroom because everything's all rocked in and tiled in. And then the, any spots of dirt are like a garden. Right, whereas here, every opportunity to put a plant or a pot or something is taken 
with a gorgeous, you know, plant. Okay. Yeah. Here's the here's the pool. So I didn't go in the pool yesterday, just in the ocean. How about those? And yeah. I love these pots. Um, this face pot, and I'm gonna find out exactly what it's called, is very popular in this particular region. Yeah, you see those around quite a bit. This is gorgeous. So that's uh that's Salento over there, Karen, with the uh, cruise ship. There's a cruise ship over there that's Salento. But anyway, just wanted to show you this panoramic view. This hotel is fantastic. It is stunning out here. Just beautiful.